Imagine if someone handed you a treasure chest. Would you toss it aside, ignore it, or would you cherish it, explore it, and use it wisely? This question sets the stage for our discourse today. In this vast universe, life is a treasure chest given to us, filled with limitless possibilities and unending potential. The Bible, in its timeless wisdom, offers us a perspective on this. Psalm 139.14 beautifully articulates that we are fearfully and wonderfully made, a testament to the unique value of each life. Moreover, Job 33.4 instills in us the understanding that the Spirit of God has made me, the breath of the Almighty gives me life. This divine breath, this spark of life, is the most precious gift we have been given. Each moment, each breath is a jewel within the treasure chest of life. To waste it, to ignore it, is to squander a gift of immeasurable worth. Just like the treasure chest, our lives are precious gifts that should not be wasted. You might wonder, what does the Bible teach us about our lives? Let's delve into the heart of this question. The Bible is not just a historical or spiritual text. It's also a profound guide for living a purposeful life. It offers us principles that can lead to a life of fulfillment and meaning rather than one of emptiness and regret. One of these principles is the importance of love. The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians 16, 14, let all that you do be done in love. This isn't just about romantic love, but rather a universal love for all people, regardless of who they are or where they come from. It's about our actions, our words, and our thoughts being guided by love. Next, the Bible encourages us to seek wisdom. It's easy to get caught up in the pursuit of material wealth or social status, but Proverbs 16.16 16 tells us how much better to get wisdom than gold. To get understanding is to be chosen rather than silver. Wisdom enlightens our minds, enriches our hearts, and guides our decisions. It's an invaluable treasure that transcends the fleeting nature of worldly possessions. Finally, the Bible teaches us to be grateful. In a world that often promotes dissatisfaction and discontent, 1 Thessalonians 5.18 says, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Gratitude isn't just about being thankful when things go well, but also finding reasons to be grateful, even in challenging times. This attitude can transform our perspective, turning obstacles into opportunities for growth. These principles, love, wisdom and gratitude, are like three pillars supporting a fulfilling life. They guide us to form meaningful relationships, make wise choices and maintain a positive outlook. The Bible is a guidebook for life, providing us with principles to live by so we do not waste our lives. It's a compass pointing us towards a life of purpose and meaning, a life that's worth living. Let's embrace these teachings and make the most of the precious gift of life we've been given. Knowing the teachings is one thing, applying them to our lives is another. It's time we delve into the practicality of living these teachings to truly honor the gift of life. Firstly, let's consider prayer. As we read in Philippians 4, 6, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Prayer is not merely asking for what we want or need, but it's a conversation with our Creator, a time to express our gratitude, our fears, our hopes. It's a moment of intimate connection that can bring peace and clarity to our lives. Now let's turn our attention to meditation. Joshua 1, 8, instructs us to meditate on the Word of God day and night. This doesn't mean we need to isolate ourselves on a mountaintop, but rather we should take time each day to reflect on Scripture, to ponder its meaning and consider how it applies to our lives. As we meditate on these truths, they become a part of us, guiding our thoughts, words and actions. Finally, let's talk about love. As we read in 1 Peter 4, 8, Above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. Love is the cornerstone of Christian living. It's not about a fleeting feeling, but a deliberate choice to act in the best interest of others, to forgive, to show kindness and to extend grace. Love is what binds us together and it's the most profound way we can reflect God's character. In wrapping up, remember this. The Bible is not just a book to be read, but a guide to be lived. It's about a relationship with God and how that relationship transforms us. So let's pray, let's meditate, and above all, let's love. By applying these teachings, we honor the gift of life. 
and ensure we do not waste it. And as we journey together, if you're finding value in this video, we appreciate your support through subscribing and liking. Now, let's continue our journey.